how to find the keywords that most of the top competitors are sleeping on. Why is this important? How can it make you money? We talked earlier about how to find the top keywords for a niche, and that is just period, end of story, the top keywords. Just because a lot of the competitors are ranking for it doesn't make it a bad keyword. That actually makes it a good keyword. But that being said, it's understandable to know that, hey, if all of the top competitors, all of the top sellers in a certain niche are all getting sales from this keyword because they're all ranked high, it's a very competitive keyword. Again, I reiterate, that doesn't mean it's a bad keyword or something you shouldn't have in your listing. You absolutely have to have the top keywords. But what about the keywords that maybe only one competitor or two competitors are getting sales from? This could be a, a potentially non-competitive keyword. Now, sometimes these keywords are a little bit less relevant to your product. An example might be like Gothic decor, right? Maybe only one or two competitors are rank of coffin shelf are ranking for Gothic decor, but all the other products that you see when you search for Gothic decor, uh, there are things like maybe like a spooky skull holder or some Gothic bed frame or, or some Gothic looking, uh, wall ornament or what have you. But here's the thing. The reason why sometimes, you know, certain keywords work for products you might not think are relevant, like maybe you didn't think that a coffin shelf is gothic decor, is that there are people out there who search for a keyword with different buyer intent, right? There's maybe somebody who in the back of their mind, they really do want a coffin shelf, but they don't call it a coffin shelf. They call it gothic decor. So what they're looking for is a coffin shelf. So they type in gothic decor, they see a whole bunch of random products, but if they're looking for a coffin shelf and only one or two products are coffin shelves on page one, guess what? Those one or two products have a 50-50 chance or a 100% chance if only one of them is ranking for it to get the sale because all those other products on page one is kind of meaningless to that customer who went there with an intent to buy a coffin shelf. They just use a different keyword than, than most people. So this is why looking for these keywords, while they might not be the top keywords that can get you sales, they're a great way to kind of like take advantage of special keywords that certain competitors out there have found that's relevant to their product and they're getting sales. And now instead of having to fight seven, eight, uh, nine of your competitors for a sale, you're only finding one or two competitors. How can you do that? Let's go ahead and hop into Cerebro. So if I did my multi-ASIN search that I've showed you guys how to do in the other strategies, all I have to do is hit one button for this. And it's the button at the top left that call, that's called opportunity keywords. This puts in a uh, kind of like uh, preset filters that you can play around with later. Uh, and it's telling me a, a competitor performance max five, uh, and then only one competitor is ranking between one and 15. All right. So as I can see, as you can see here, there are 12 keywords that came up. Uh, for example, one of them is Gothic shelf. Now, why did this keyword come up on this search, but not the top keyword search? Well, if you look here, there are only, there is only one competitor here who is ranked between one and 15 and it's somebody ranked 13. The rest of them were ranked on, you know, here's one that's 16, here's one at 76, one at 77, one at 96. So only if I get on the top page of Gothic Shelf, guess what? I am only fighting one competitor for that sale, for somebody who might buy a coffin shelf. You see how valuable this keyword list uh, can go? If you want to you know, fool around with some of these filters to, to narrow it in other ways, you can absolutely do that. But this is just a great way to see what we call opportunity keywords, where maybe only one or two competitors is getting only, you know, maybe a couple sales here or there from this keyword, because it might not be fully, fully relevant to the, the niche as a whole, but you're only going to be fighting one or two people for sales for this keyword. And usually, you know, all the top 10, 15, they all have a few of these keywords that they might be getting sales from. And now you can combine all of those top keywords into your listing and be one of the only ones that has all of those keywords in there 
and getting sales from them. Now, as kind of uh, an addendum to this strategy, some of these uh, filters, they're really great to use just like get some insights, right? So for, forget about that preset opportunity keywords filter. If I clear this, I really want you guys to play along or play around with these filters here, which are number of competitors and competitor rank, all right? Basically the number of competitors uh, filter means of how many ASINs do you want to hit a certain criteria uh, that you are about to specify. So as you can see here, I had put five ASINs. So maybe I say, hey, I just want to see the keywords were a minimum of one competitor. Any one of these or all five of them, it doesn't matter, is ranked between one and 10. So what I'm doing is I put number of competitors, minimum one, I don't put a maximum. And then under the competitor rank uh, filter, I put one and 10. Now this is going to show me all of the keywords where just any one, any two, any three, any four, any five of these ASINs are ranked between one and 10. And I came up with 83 keywords. So as you see guys, the, the possibilities are endless here with all these filters. There is no one magic way that's going to get you the best keywords. Everybody has their own strategies. That's why we have these filters. But even that one could get you sales trying to look for uh, keywords that at least just one of your competitors is getting sales from.